What's up world, my name is Mr. Vaca, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Google Chrome extension called Read and Write. This tool, created by our friends at TextHelp, is phenomenal for students of all ages, especially students with special needs that need directions or anything on the internet read aloud to them, also giving students a dictionary and picture dictionary at the simple click of a button, and a ton of other visual tools that can help, again, all kinds of students. So the first thing that you wanna do is just go to google.com and in that search bar, read and write free for teachers. Then you're going to click that top link that appears, and then you'll find a purple button that says read and write. Click on that, then you're going to fill out the form to get the free license for teachers. And then you'll see a purple install now button. Then you'll have a drop down menu and you're gonna click on Google Chrome. You'll be taken to a new page and in the top right hand corner, click the blue add to Chrome button, then a white box, add extension. And you'll then see in the top right hand corner next to your extension puzzle piece, the read and write symbol appear. If it's not there, all you need to do is click on that little puzzle piece extension icon. You'll search down for the extension read and write and you click that blue little pin button and it will stay up in that browser bar right at that top right hand corner next to the icon. Okay, we're almost done with the TD part, this part that you will never have to do again once you originally get it set up. Now you're going to click on that read and write icon in the extension a puzzle piece and when you click on that you're going to then get prompted to link your Google account one more time, allow it access. Okay, now that everything is all linked and set up ready to go, let's just open up a random Google Doc that I have here. And I'm now going to click on that read and write app icon and the new toolbar will appear. The first thing that I wanna show you is the play button, which is your text to speech option. If you put the cursor wherever you wanna start, then click the play button here, you will have the entire paragraph or section that is right there read out loud for you. Now it will keep going unless you hit the stop button and then it will stop and then you can remove the cursor to wherever you want it to go. You can also highlight a section, hit the play button and it will read that entire section. Another favorite tool of mine is the dictionary tool. If you click and highlight a word and then click this dictionary icon, it will then give you a little pop-up window with the definition of the word that of course you can click and read the entire definition out loud if need be. Now there also is another dictionary option, the picture dictionary option. And if you click on that word and click on the picture dictionary, you have it pop up just like with the original dictionary definition. It's also really easy to highlight specific words in any document or any PDF or even an internet online article. All you wanna do is highlight the word and then click on this icon. You have three different choices right from the bat and it will highlight the words that you are, have selected. Saving the coolest feature for last, say you highlighted a whole bunch of vocabulary words and you wanted to make a specific vocabulary word list. Well, now it's easier than ever. If you highlight the words that you want and then click this bulleted picture dictionary icon, you will then get a new document automatically generated with all of those words, with the pictures and the definition notes so that students can take their own notes of what that definition is for that vocabulary word. And that's it for today. We really are just scratching the surface of the read and write text help Chrome extension. But if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. And of course, don't forget to work hard and play hard. And I'll catch you next time.